people, they can do eye surgery to improve your vision. Turner muscles one in the left that'll drop in for an RBI hit. Second run driven in tonight for Turner, and it's 8 4. Kind of silly, and it just breaks you up. Seeger sends a fly ball to center field. That one is gone. Seeger starts the eighth with a solo shot against Familia. Quietly, huge night for Corey Seeger. Two doubles and a home run. Strength against strength. Went with a fastball, lifted to right center field. Way back there, Conforto's on a room. It's gone. Jack Peterson leads off the ninth with a home run. Number 16 for Jack, and it's a two run game. Muncie to deep right. That ball's hooking. Gone. One run game. Tying run at second, winning run at the plate. Bellinger to right center field. This game is tied. He's on his way to second. There is still nobody out. Fly ball left center field. Backing up Gomez. Makes the catch. Here comes Bellinger. What a magical night. From down 8-3 to win it 9-8. This one to left field and leaping but not catching is Dahl. Comes off the wall as Renfro's making his way around the bases. He will come in and score the fifth Padres run. It's an RBI double for Austin Hedges. Off the wall in left field out of the reach of Dahl. Up the middle into center field and a base hit. That'll score Tatis. Here comes Machado. Two run score and it's now 11 to 7. So the Padres plating a pair here. Hosmer with quite a plate appearance before driving in two. Renfro hits one to deep left center field. High, deep, and very gone. A two run home run for Hunter Renfro and it's now 11 to 9. Here come the Padres. Tatis slides it into center field for a base hit. Scoring is Myers. Kinsler behind him. The throw will be cut off, and the Padres have tied it up 11 to 11 in the ninth inning. So far, a six run inning, and the Padres tie it up. Lined down the right field line from third base. Tatis Jr. will score. Austin Allen is headed for two, and the Padres will take a 12 11 lead in the 12th inning. Now Machado down the line into the left field corner. Austin Allen coming around to score, and the Padres will get their 13th run over to dig it out is Dahl. And Machado pulls it up with an RBI double, and the Padres take a 13 to 11 lead here in the 12th inning. High drive, deep left field. Hunter Renfro's third home run of the game is going to give the Padres a 15 to 11 lead. The miracle in Denver is almost complete. Line drive, center field, base hit. Prado scores. And the bases will remain loaded for Isan Diaz. Again on the same page, here's an 0-2 pitch. Ground ball, left side. Culberson can't make the play. Holiday's in to score. Six to four. That went right through Culberson who's had a great defensive night for the Braves. And that one is oh. down, and the corner of ball! Robinson will score, Bernie will score, Diaz around there, Culberson's throw is in time! This one in the air, left field, Duvall underneath it. Here comes Harold, the throw from left. Oh, yeah, in yeah. time! It's another walk-off win for the Marlins! That fastball hit hard into right center. Trey Turner is going to plug the gap. 
Victor Robles heading for third. Bob Henley sends him home. Turner makes it a 10 to 5 ball game with his second hit of the night in his 45th RBI. Base hit Rendon. RBI number 112. 10 6 now. Zimmerman, right center, well hit, and it's up against the scoreboard. Two runs will score. Held at third is Soto, and it's 10 to 8. Kurt Suzuki, see you later. The Nets have won it. Seven runs in the bottom of the ninth. And now everyone dances. For Freddie Freeman. And that's smoked into center field, a base hit. Here comes Duvall around third. He's going to score. And that extra at bat pays dividends for Freddie Freeman. Good crack of the bat for Freddie. He's got an RBI for Harris. And on the ground left side nice play it short to knock the ball down but everybody's safe another run is in it's eight to three. That one got away from Cervelli and everybody's going to move up 90 feet and a run is in. It's eight to four. No balls two strikes. Line drive left field that's going to get down for a hit a couple of runs out of score it's going to squirt past the outfielder and get to the wall. Three runs are going to score. Charlie Clutch comes through again. Ball gets away, but no further advance. Charlie Culberson clears the bases in the eighth inning, and can you believe it? We've got a one-run game. Charlie Clutch comes through. Now the 2-2 to Waters. Line fair down the left field line. Here comes Charlie around third. He's going to score, and the Braves have tied this game at eight. And here's Adam Duvall. Line drive left field base hit that's down here comes waters around third they're going to send it throw to the plate it's going to be cut off and the Braves have taken the lead with an eight run eighth. and wave them home wash in midseason form yeah nice I remember when he was slugging all those home runs like that driven deep to right field and Matt Adams walks us off there you go we don't have to worry about it. <laughs> Given it bat against the left handed pitcher and Matt Adams knows what to do with it. He just launched a home run into the chop house area and the Braves have won this game 10 to 9 on a big blast from Big City. Welcome back to Atlanta. Folks he's going to do that a lot in his opportunities in this ballpark. But not much offense tonight Ray you wonder if the. And Johnny Cueto was pretty good. Dubon at the wall, and it is gone. So Matt Olson homers. But center field. Is that six hits and six home runs? That's right. His <laughs> last six hits of all the home runs. That one, a towering shot to center field. Left field. Did he do it? Yes. <laughs> you got to be kidding me. <laughs> So a grand slam by Piscotti has tied this game in the top of the ninth inning and got hung a slider. Yes, he did. Big time. Pence squares up. Pence has it. Here comes Chapman. Chapman will score, and the A's take the lead 8 7. And Yastrzemski chased a pitch way out of the strike zone, and that's the ball game. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? He can't believe it. But Liam Hendricks with the runner at second base strikes out three. Check swing. It's going to be a base hit. Two runs will score. Estrada goes to third, and he almost got thrown out. Wow. But the ball was not handled by Jimenez. You can't be making the final out of the game at third base. But Estrada almost did anyway. A two run single for Voigt. And that brings up Hicks as the tying run. Bottom of the seventh inning, first game of a doubleheader. And the pitch. 
And that goes all the way to the backstop. Scoring is Estrada moving to second is Voigt. And now it's 7-5, and the count is 3-2 and two on Hicks. Voigt on second base. Yankees down by two. Drill to right field. Did he get it high enough? Yes, he did. Oh, my. The Yankees have come all the way back to tie the game at seven. A clutch two-run home run for Aaron Hicks. And we've got a ball game. You talk about a defining moment in a short season. Well, this is the at bat. And uh, Diaz cannot believe it. He challenged him, and now a rocket shot to right field. And the pitch. Lined into right field. Here comes Comforto. He's going to play it on a hop. Here comes Talkman. Here's the throw. Talkman is safe. And the Yankees win 8 to 7. Urshela with the base hit. They've come all the way back, and they take an unlikely victory in the first game of a doubleheader. And if they do big things this year, they'll remember this game. Rosario toward the right side hole. Estrada can't get it. Base hit. In the score comes Frazier. Smith will score as well. Marisnik to third. It's seven to six. Two, three, and four. JD hits it out to center field. Hicks giving ground to the warning front. It's out. JD Davis ties the game. Davis dead central against the wall. This jump and the Mets get even. It's seven to seven in the ninth. Redemption. A shot to the hip on Saturday. A shot over the wall in center into the black. That's driven deep down the left field line toward the stands. It's out of here. Peter Rose wins it with a walk-off two-run homer in the bottom of the tenth. And the Mets yank it out nine to seven. <laughs> One big swing by Pete erases a day of disappointment. His eighth home run of the year, and the Mets win in walk-off fashion, coming from behind twice. Davis with the home run of the ninth, Alonzo in the tenth, and the Mets split the season series with the Yankees as they win it nine to seven. Shattered back fly ball and base hit. And Kiermeyer ends up with the handle of his bat in his hands. His bat in pieces and the ball falls in shallow right center. Runner goes 3-2 and bounces in there. Smith locates it. It's two on with two out. And the Rays are going to ask for the biggest hit in the life of Brett Phillips. Jansen. That is into center field. Here comes Kiermaier. Phillips has tied the game. A Rose Arena coming around. Throw home. Now he stumbles. But the ball gets away. Tampa Bay wins it. Brett Phillips, game four hero. Whistler into the bat that may work in the center field it does Crawford good speed's going to score standing up RBI single Ty France it's a 6-2 ball game home opener the 3-2 pitch laid off gets an RBI the base is loaded walk and the Mariners are within three runs now at 6-3 Dylan Moore can do some damage he's got an opportunity it's the first big league RBI for Taylor Eventually gets a walk. Dylan Moore down the line. It's not fair. It does. Everybody runs. Here's France right behind him. Seager. We got a 6-5 ball game. The 0-1 to Marmo. Slow ground ball to Belt. There's one. Ball hanging up, long run, and it will be caught. Nicely done by Mitch Hannigan. Never gave up on it. And we go bottom 
10 tied at 7 7. Many of the 9,000. Looks like everybody's still here and they are on their feet. 3 1 picks to Jake Fraley. Will Myers waiting on deck and Caratini rips it to left field. Taylor's up and throwing. Cronenworth scores the trailing run, a two run RBI knocked by Victor Caratini, and the Padres indeed punch right back. Just a four run deficit here in the seven. Fine rookie season in 2020. His first pitch to Eric Hosmer's lined into right field. That scores Tatis and makes it 7-4 Dodgers. This is an area of concern for Los Angeles. 0-2 oh to Mateo. Back up the middle. Noisy to Seager, not in time for the double play. Another run scores. 7-5 Los Angeles. A little off-speed pitch here. Mateo gets it and does what he does best. Put him up and put him down. A sprinter just outruns the baseball. Trent Grisham now, a ball pass Turner into left field. Caratini's gonna score, it's a one run game. Wow. Here's Machado tying run 90 feet away with one gone. And Manny sends a base hit back up the middle. Tatis scores, this game is tied at seven. Santa Maria. The next full count pitch on its way to Peters. Got him swinging the high gas, and we'll go to the 11th. Oh, man. Cronenworth on deck behind Hosmer. Come after him, and Hosmer swings and sends a drive to center field. Peters is back on it, measuring it off. Tatis will score easily, and it's 8-7 San Diego. Seager's strengths is hitting with runners in scoring position, has been for a while. And there's a bouncer back over the middle, and San Diego hangs on. Entering the seventh, down seven to one. The fighting Friar battles for two in the seventh, two in the eighth, two in the ninth to tie, and the game-winning run scores in the top of the eleventh. Swing and a high fly ball, right center field, headed to the bullpen. Pablo. He does it again. The walk and then the wallop and look at the Phillies. They're stunned. The Braves down to their last strike twice. Get a walk from Adrianza and then Pablo Sandoval ties the game with a two run pinch hit homer. Can you believe it? Yeah, the Braves have the right guys coming up. As this one chopped off the plate. Didi's got it. Throw to first. Throw it away. Here comes Pache. In safely. Baltimore chop. One of those goes the Braves' way. Braves have hit four grand slams. Line drive left field. That's down for a hit. That'll score two. Streaking toward third. Swanson. They're going to wave it. Here he comes. They missed the cutoff man. It's a double and we're tied. Adrianza was down to two strikes earlier. Driven to right field, that ball is down, and the Braves have won it. The chase is on, and Adrianza, and the Braves somehow, some way, win this one in 12. What a game. This is a team, Jeff, that did not have a hit in extra innings until Adrianza's single in the 11th. He had two hits in extra innings. And the Braves somehow, some way, down to their last strike, steal game two of this series from the Phillies. Yeah, I would say that 20,000 or so that stayed got to see the best game of the year.